Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to shoot against a white background, but my background decided to play me. So we're shooting against a bit of glitter, but we don't mind that. So today I'm gonna to be doing my brows in a back to basics lesson, and I'm gonna show you what I use to achieve my brows. And um, they're not gonna be for everyone. I like a really, really structured brow. So I've been using this kind of formula for my brows for the last, I'd say almost a year. I just love these products. They are all from Benefit. I just find Benefit does brows like nobody else. I've tried a lot of different brands and this is just one that I really, really love. I'm starting off with a bare brow and as you can see, my brows are very, very fair. And um, because my hair is quite fair naturally, I find it hard to get a tint that really works for my brows. Sometimes it goes too dark, sometimes it can go a bit green. So I like to just do all the work myself and leave the brows as they are. So the first step that I'll do is just go in with a spoolie. I'm going to brush the brows into a shape. Doesn't matter what shape, just brush the brows into the shape that you want. So I like to kind of brush them up at the front and then just neaten them a little bit at the back. The pencil that I use for the base of my brows is the Precisely My Brow Pencil by Benefit. And I like this because the applicator is so fine that you can really get that defined look and then feather it out. The general rule of thumb when you're doing your brows is you want them to start right here so go up from your nose they start right here then your arch should be through your pupil here and then the end of the brow should be through the eye here so that will give you the general rule of thumb to how to get the perfect shape for your face so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to just go along the bottom of the brow I'm just making small little strokes. I'm not trying to do it all in one motion. I'm just making small little strokes. Mimic that then on the top of the brow as well, just to make sure that the top brow hits the same points. So I'm just gonna go start here. Here's where my arch is gonna be. I'm gonna bring it down to meet that point. See, you have kind of a crazy little outline of a brow. So what I want to do now is I want to take the spoolie end of the Precisely My Brow pencil and just brush those lines through my brow to disperse the product. This will give me an idea of how much product I actually need to add later on in the brow. What I want to do now is I want to go in with my number five pencil again and just start to fill in the sparse areas in the brow. Just really lightly working that into the brow and just taking that spoolie then just brushing through every now and then just to make sure that we're not being too harsh on our brow so I want to add some dimension so I want to add a little bit more dimension in the front so I'm going to go in with browsings in the shade 2 so this is more for someone with blonde hair if you're going all over as you can see it's quite lighter and I'm just going to take the powder on the little brush that it comes with and I'm just going to push that up through the front of my brow. And we're gonna take the spoolie and just really softly blend it now because you don't wanna move it too much now that you have kind of it set where you want it. Then just to add a further bit of definition, I'm going to go in with the Precisely My Brow Pencil again, but this time I'm gonna go in in shade number six. Shade number six is quite a bit darker. If I'm going for a really, really strong brow, like this is this is quite natural for me. Um, if I'm going in with a really, really, really strong brow, I'll use this as my base and then five in the front. So I'm just going to take number six and I'm just going to literally do that little strokes through my brow. Just to fill the areas that have kind of gaps that the five isn't filling. So I'm just going through really, really lightly. I use a lot less of six than I do of number five. So then I just like to clean up onto the brow and a little bit over just to add that bit of definition and also to prime the lid. I use my concealer to prime the lid for eyeshadows. I'm using the Boing Airbrush Concealer. So there's four different types of Boing Concealer and this one I really like for under the eyes because it's quite light in its finish. Um, so I really, really like this to clean up under the eye. Take that brush and I'm just going to really lightly Go underneath the brow. 
just mopping out that brow area. And then bringing it all over the lid. Just to set the eye, I'm just gonna take a light powder and just pat that on the eye. Just to set it before I go ahead and go in with the eyeshadow. So now, we have a brow. So as I said at the start, my eyebrows themselves, the hairs are really, really fine. So I want to use something that's gonna create a little bit of dimension and make sure that my hairs aren't too blonde over this. So I'm gonna go in with Gimme Brow in the shade five. And first of all, I'm gonna push it against my hairs just to coat them all up. And then I'm gonna take a spoolie and just brush through, just to make sure there's no excess and brush them into the shape that I want. I'm going to do the other brow and then I will come back to you then. So there they are, two eyebrows, done and done, check. Um, I will go ahead and do the rest of my face now. I'm going to film it for another tutorial and I just wanted a reference of my brow routine because my brow routine has not changed in a long long time ever since i started using these products i just really love them when i'm finished doing my makeup because i'm a big fan of the bake i do enjoy a bit of baking and um, i will go ahead and use this this is the ready set brow by benefit so it's just a clear brow gel what i find is when i have done my foundation and my eyeshadow and everything like that sometimes i get a bit of powder into the brow now i don't want to add a whole load of more product so i like to use this because it's clear it takes away any powder that's on the brows and i just love it so i really hope you enjoyed this brow tutorial i'll be doing more back to basics video i have a whole plan of videos to do for back to basics so stay tuned if you're not subscribed subscribe it's here i think well, i'm going to leave a link to all the products i use down below also and if you want to follow me on social media the links are down below bye